Welcome back, everybody, to Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. In the last one, we met with the mayor of Petalburg, who told us that we want to find a hidden pipe in Petalburg that will take us to Hooktail's castle to find the crystal star and save the town. But in order to get there, we do need to find some stone keys first that are hidden in this place called Schwank Fortress. That is where I think we either are or are approaching. And so Gumbella and I are here to meet with th this man, stone, rock, thing. Hello, sir. How are you? Uh, what? Can you hear my controller shake? I'm sorry that my controller is so, uh, so loud. I'm a very clunky Let's Player, let's be fair. Hmm. Ho, oh, ha, ha. You're the first contestants I've seen in a while. If you've come all the way here to Schwank Fortress, you must want stone keys. That is exactly what I want, in fact. And if that's the case, then you must compete against me. If you win, I'll let you through to where the stone keys rest. However, if you lose, you will suffer a terrible fate. And by terrible, I mean awful. Hmm. So, what do you want to do? I will take you on. Alright, you're in for it now. I... What? What is this? Hey, hey, ladies and germs, welcome everybody to the 65th Super Fun Quirk Quiz! Perk up those ears, if you correctly answer five of the following questions, you win! But get three of them wrong, and you'll suffer a cruel and unusual punishment. Now, for the first question! What's hidden in this place? Whoa, whoa, everything's happening so fast. What's hidden in this place? The crystal princess... Well, the stone keys are hidden here, and that's what we want, but we do want the crystal star. Um, hidden in this place is stone keys. Is, there, is this timed? Is that your real answer? Are you sure? Yes? Arrgh! That's correct! That question was too easy, but it only gets harder from here. Much harder! So prepare yourself! On to question two. What do one Mr. Softener and one Fire Flower cost at the shop in Petalburg? The total! Oh no, what is this actually? I was in the store too. Um, the Mr. Softener, wasn't that like eight coins or something? But then how much was a Fire Flower? Ten seems like it's not enough. Um, eight and eight would make sixteen, but that sounds like it's too high. What is eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, four coins? Uh, do we want to say twelve? I don't know, um, I'm gonna try 12. Shoot, oh, that was so wrong. Wrong, 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 you fools! Remember, if you get three wrong, you're going to suffer like you wouldn't believe. Oh, that was so bad. <laughs> don't let the pressure get to you. Uh, moving on, question three! I'm sorry, guys. What is the name of the Mayor of Pelberg? Oh, this one I know, because Goombella told me. It was Croup. Ha <laughs> ha! See, this is why it's important to learn your lore, folks. That's correct. That question was too easy, but it only gets much harder from here. This, What is this even? Why are we playing a game show? So prepare yourself! We're not done yet, folks. Question four! Tell me now, where is the crystal star? It is in Hooktail Castle, my good sir. Oh, that's correct. All right, this is, this is starting to get a little bit repetitive. <laughs> So prepare yourself. What's the next one? Lay it on me, my friend. Are you ready for the diabolical question five? How can one get from Petal Meadows to Rogueport? A boat across the sea, only by air, go through a pipe, race in a cart. Well, we came in through a pipe, and that isn't how we're going to get back, I imagine. Right again. Tell me you didn't just get your fourth right answer. This can't be true. That's it. I'm making the rest of these near impossible. Get ready for brain pain. Yeah, we only need one more right. Okay. On to question six. Get it right, and then we're done. Which of the following creatures have hands? Koopa Troopas. Goombas don't have hands. Sorry, Goombella. Uh, Clefs. Those are the rocks. They didn't have hands. Fuzzies. But Koopa Troopas definitely do have hands. That's not hard. Right? Right. Question right. So are we good? No! That's... That's right! You correctly answered five questions, I don't believe it, you win! Listen. I am an educator. <laughs> Answering questions is what I do for a living. So very angry, I can't believe I lost. I guess I have to let you through, stupid rules. 
That was so weird. So I don't have to fight him, actually? It was just a quiz show? Humph! Well. Let's save. Because I love to do that after I do any very, very teeny tiny task. And, uh... Will this take us to the stone keys? Hopefully. Um, oh great, we're in the sewers again. Um, left is a door, right is a door. Here is a multi-bounce. Jump on all foes in a row with perfect action commands. Can I equip it? Badges? Alright, so that's all my badge points now. If I want to wear more badges, I will need to upgrade. So I'm going to keep that in mind for when I level up again, which, how close am I to a level actually? Um, whoops, whoops, how, how do I, nope, nope, Z, Z was it, 67 star points, hello. Okay, Goombella, these are new creatures, can you tell me about them please? Nice, that's a fuzzy, what a hyper little guy, huh? Cut back on the caffeine, max HP 3, attack is 1, and defense is 0. Those things suck up your HP and use it to replenish their own. Isn't that the worst? Oh, no, I'm not about that, actually. Anything that can, like, take your HP or recover their HP annoys me. And so when you have an enemy that can both take your HP and recover their HP, that, like, irritates me. I mean, ew, doesn't that just sound totally gross? Anyway, guard against them by pressing A the moment they release you. The timing is pretty hard to master, so, uh, practice up. These things really suck. HP! Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, Goombella, your wit and charm never ceases to amaze me. How much does multi-bounce cost? 2 FP. Let's... Shall we try it? Let's try it. Press A just before stomping on an enemy. Okay. Yes. Up. Oh. Nope. Didn't work as well as I hoped. Okay, Goombella, Goombella, Goombella! Oh. Okay, so wait, how do I... Tap A, tap A, tap A. No, 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 no! Oh, uh, okay, that didn't work at all. Hello, Goomba. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, Goombala. Ooh, that went awful. It's like I didn't even do anything. All right, let's try a new strategy. Get rid of one, because I'm not prepared to deal with this. Good. And then Goombella can. Oh my goodness, Goombella. She's getting the crap kicked out of her today. I'm sorry, girl. Take him out. Okay, maybe Mario Zubar. No, 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 stop that. Oh, how do I do this? When do I press the A? Uh, there's a bat. Wait, 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 what was that? Oh my goodness, Goombella, girl. Girl, you need help. Let's, let's make you feel better, okay? Okay. Um, oh, Jesus, man. All right, let's take one out. Can we, good, good. Okay, one more down, one to go. This is... <laughs> I don't feel like I'm doing very good anymore. Oh, oh, oh! I got that one. I got it. I don't know how. So what I'm doing right now is I'm kind of just mashing the A button. And I don't think that's the best strategy. Um, Grimbella, can you finish him off for me? Oh, I don't like these guys at all. This was... This was less than fun. Okay, nine star points. That's good. Um, got an HP drain. Oh, I always click A so fast, I never actually read what these things are. What was that? Simultaneously attacks foes and replenishes your own HP. Okay, so that's like what that guy used on Goombella. That nearly kills her. Oh my god. Um, cool. I myself am having quite a tiresome day. I actually just got back from court. Wouldn't you believe it? Um, why was I in court, you might wonder? Well, it all started because I went on a date. <laughs> um, so, hang on, let me focus on this and then let me explain my court situation. Hey, I did it! Okay, now, Kumbella, you take out one of them. Um, so, living in Buffalo, I've been trying to get to know people for things and stuff. And through this party that I went to, um, I did meet this older, and like, 
a, a fair bit older than me, uh, individual, who invited me out to some of the bars in Buffalo. He wanted to come and meet out for a drink. He used to live in Buffalo, but does not. And this was not a man that I was interested in dating. But, here's the thing. This particular individual um, had a pretty notable job in the same kind of career field that I was just starting out in. And so, it wasn't, I got a moonstone, and then I got attacked. Can't flee this fight. Oh, oh, I'm not prepared to deal with any of this. Can I cheat? Goodbye! I've got things and stuff to say. Fare thee well, monsters. Oh, that worked super well, actually. Oh, I should stock up on more fire flowers. And I'm also at a level. Got some flower power. So is that one of the stones I just got? I'm not paying nearly enough attention. A mystical moonstone shaped like the moon. A mystical stone shaped like the moon. Um, so this individual was a fairly noteworthy connection to make. And I mean, I try to network when I can. So the pretense was that this was not going to be a date. It was like, hey, I'm in town. Do you want to go out and have a drink? Just get to know each other a little bit. And I was like, I feel like he might have ulterior motives, but I'm a conscious individual. There's no harm in just going to meet out for a drink. So I agreed, and we met out at the first gay bar of the night, where he started buying me a lot of alcohol. And it was very strong alcohol. So I did start getting progressively drunker throughout the night, and um, partially because it made it easier to talk to him. And so as we were going out, we eventually moved to some other bars and we did a little bit of dancing and just kept buying me more and more drinks. And towards the end of the night, I was like, I just want to go home. I've had enough, but I'm a little too intoxicated to drive. And I know this to be true. So he gets an Uber, but he doesn't have the Uber like take me home. Instead, he takes both himself and me in this Uber. Hey, level up! Select one of the following to upgrade. So I believe I want to go badge points this time, right? Well, I don't have any more badges per se yet, but I might get some. Oh, should I do health or badge? Um, you know what? Let's do health because these guys are these guys are starting to worry me a little bit. The enemies are starting to suck my HP, so I feel like I need more HP. Um, where was I in my story? So this guy was getting me more drunk, and then he gets this Uber, and he takes us both to his hotel that he's staying at. And I'm like, no, 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 no. That's not where this is going. Um, but, again, I couldn't drive myself. I was coherent. Don't get me wrong. This isn't like I'm totally plastered and can't control myself, but I've, I'm intoxicated, like I can't drive. Um, so, we're like talking, I'm trying to resist and like say like, no, I don't really want to go to your hotel, but he's like, you know, listen, we gotta just relax a little bit, we got a lot to drink. So he takes me up, and we do relax in the hotel for a while, we like throw on a movie, we're just chilling and we're watching. Um, and I'm sobering up, basically. So we're done drinking for the night. And he does start trying to progressively make moves on me. I'm shutting him down. And I start getting tired. And he suggests sleeping there. And I really don't want to sleep in this bed with him. <laughs> um, so at this point, we're like... I've been dreading myself hanging out in this hotel for hours. And I'm finally so tired that I'm like, listen, I've sobered up at this point. We haven't had alcohol. I'm going home. And so I leave. You got the sunstone, a mystical stone shaped like the sun. And on my drive home, uh, where I was not intoxicated, but at this point I was just so tired. And it was winter, and there was some black ice on the roads. And I slid on a turn, and I jumped the curb with my car. 
and I drew, I side swiped a like some pedestrian sign. Not a pedestrian. <laughs> that would have been awful. I sideswiped to this pedestrian crosswalk sign thing on the side of the road. And this was about at 3 o'clock in the morning. And so... Um, I stopped my car. Hang on, let me... Let me continue the game. So, I stopped my car. And one of the police officers who's patrolling the neighborhood, because it's winter and where I live during the winter months, you get tickets if you leave your car parked in the street because the snow plows have to come through and plow the streets, so it's a good way for the police to make money for the town. Um, so they send out patrol people each night to go and put tickets on all the cars in the street. So he's passing, and he sees me, because I don't drive away from the scene. Instead, I stop my car, put on my hazard lights, get out to see what happened, because I wrecked my front headlight. And this officer comes up to me, and so he starts doing the typical officer questionings, like, Hey, what's going on here? What happened? Are you okay? And I'm like, yeah, I just, I lost control of my car, and I jumped to the curb. And he's like, where are you coming from? <laughs> and here's where it gets great. He asks me where I'm coming from, and so, without even thinking, I say, Oh, you know, I was just downtown at the bar with some friends. I say I was downtown at a bar. And so, this guy is now immediately like, Sir, I'm gonna need you to step out of the vehicle. And they became convinced that I was drunk. They're like, what did you have to drink? I was like, I had a couple of drinks, but that was like early in the night. We're talking at like 9 o'clock p.m. And meanwhile, this accident happened at 3 o'clock a.m. So, like, I went home, had the hotel, and I'm trying to explain this scenario that I had not drank for hours. But these cops, they put me through about, like, seven or eight different sobriety tests. And they make me do everything from singing the alphabet, from letter blah to letter blah, to doing things. Did I get both stones? I did. So I got both stones. So I think... I need to return back to Petalburg and see the mayor again, because he told me I need those stones to find my thing. So anyways, the cops had me performing all of these sobriety tests, and I was passing them because I was sober, but the cops were very rude and intimidating that I was terrified that I was still doing them wrong. Like, they told me to sing the alphabet from, whoa, what's up, Mjork! Hey, you suspicious types, this is our place, and coming in here is rude, rude, rude! Sorry, suckers, if you want a warm welcome, too bad, now I lunch on your head! What? Is this a boss? Can't flee this fight. Goombello, what's this weird little thing? Can you tell me about it? Uh, that's a golden fuzzy. Whoa, these are super rare, I'm serious, wow! Max HP, 10, attack, 1, and defense is 0. Oh, but hey, even though it's a fuzzy, it won't suck up your HP, which is nice. That's super nice, actually. Thank you. I have to wonder, though, does this thing hide? Look at it. It's so gaudy. Yes. Um, well, let's just go in guns blazing and power smash it. Right? C. Um. Mew! Hey, ow, you chumps are tougher than you look. But I'm not through yet. Everyone, get him! Everyone, get him. Whoa, 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 I'm not prepared for any of this. What is happening? Uh, uh, Goombella. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, oh, hey, I dodged it. I, oh, oh, ooh. Didn't dodge that one. I, whoa, 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 what's happening? Goombella, whoa, 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 girl. Whoa, oh, oh, no. Come on, no, 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 I'm not feeling this. Oh, lass, I am so sorry. Whoa. Okay. So much has happened that made me feel so bad. Tattle, line up the cursor, fuzzy horde. No, don't even waste your time. Do I have an item? Do I have another fire flower? I, I do. Can I burn them alive? Set it all on fire. I don't even care. Just get them gone. Right? I don't know if that works. Um, and then head bonk. The horde or this guy? Well, can I kill the guy? Because that's what I want to do. 
sir. Farewell. Oh, sure enough, that did it. Okay. I mean, I won't complain. You got me! Well, good riddance, friends! Um, so I think... I think we're good. I can clear out of the Schwamp Fortress. Um, so, as I was singing the alphabet, like, from letter blah to letter blah, these guys were, like, being like, you want to try out a guy, buddy? As if I did it wrong. And I was like, I don't think I sang it wrong. <laughs> but you can't argue with the cops. So it was just a very uncomfortable situation. And ultimately, what it ended up happening is they wrote me a traffic citation of imprudent speed for weather conditions. Uh, basically saying, like, I was driving too fast to account for the black ice on the road. So even though I wasn't actually speeding above the speeding limit, I was driving too fast for the conditions of the road. And that is why I got into an accident and lost control of the vehicle. So I had to go to traffic court. And that is where I was today. Um... Now, I believe this is a good place to stop, actually, because I got those stones, and I think that I'm now just going to go back to Petalburg, and I think that's something I can do off-screen. I don't think you guys need to watch me go back to Finding the Mayor, so I might cut it here, and when I see you guys next time, I'll be back at the Mayor's house, or in Petalburg, ready to look for this secret pipe and go to Hooktail Castle. Um, so thank you guys again for sticking around with me on this journey. Thank you uh, today specifically for listening to listening to me ramble a little bit while we were down in Schwamp Fortress about some of the latest ongoings in my life. Uh, traffic court is never fun. I'm sure if any of you have ever been involved, you can imagine how horrible it is. So today was a little bit of an off day for me. But I do definitely want to thank you guys for sticking around. Thank you for joining me on this adventure. Please subscribe. Please share this video with anybody you've ever met in your life. And I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys.